In the last video, we made a DIY thermal camera project using the MLX90640 32 cross 24 thermal image array IR camera. Using the matplotlib library and interpolation, we visualized the thermal images on LCD screen. It was really a great project for thermal visualization. Moving ahead, I decided to build a thermal fever detector using the same MLX90640 sensor and Raspberry Pi. This time, we are using the OpenCV for thermal visualization. Using the OpenCV, we can detect the face or reason of interest. We can then set the threshold to identify whether the person is suffering from fever or not. This project is inspired by one of the thermal fever detection projects that I found while browsing through the internet. They used extremely high resolution thermal camera that has a fast refresh rate. But the only thing that I have is this MLX90640 thermal camera. I will be using this for replicating the same project. So let's get started and find out how we can build this thermal fever detector project. The component required for this project are MLX90640 thermal image sensor, then a Raspberry Pi 4 board with 16 or 32 GB SD card. This is a 7 inch LCD screen display from Sun Founder that can be used to display thermal images. We need a 5 volt 3 ampere power adapter. For my project, I am using a UPS power supply that is specially designed for Raspberry Pi. A mouse and keyboard are optional for this project in case you don't want to use the VNC viewer. Alright, let's assemble this display and UPS power with Raspberry Pi for now. First, connect the UPS power supply you need to the board. All you need is some screws and a standing terminal and some connector header. The USB cable needs to be plugged in to power it. Then, let's connect the display now. The Raspberry Pi 4 fits perfectly at the back of the top of these pins. Using some connectors and adapters, the connection between Raspberry Pi and display is established. Regarding the MLX90640 part, the connection is simple. Simply connect the VCC, GND, SDA and SCL pins of the MLX90640 to the corresponding VCC, GND, SDA and SCL pins of the Raspberry Pi. You can slide this power button to the power on this device. Here you go the display. The Raspberry Pi and the entire device are powered now. The SD card has a Raspbian operating system installed here. I have connected my Raspberry Pi to the VNC viewer via SSH terminal. Then go to the terminal and update the Raspbian OS. Run the upgrade command. We need to install the NumPy as well. Then, install the OpenCV library. To install OpenCV on your Raspberry Pi, you need to run multiple commands. I have written all the commands in website article. You may go through it. For the MLX90640, install the Adafruit Blinka library. Then finally, install the Adafruit MLX90640 circuit python library. That's all the installation we need. To check the MLX90640 is working or not, use this command to install the Sumbus library. Now, run this I2C detection command. Here you can see the MLX90640 I2C address of 0 cross 33. Now finally, your system is ready. Let's move to the programming part now. I have used Thony IDE to run the Python script. The code starts by importing necessary libraries including OpenCV and Adafruit's MLX90640 library. It initializes the MLX90640 thermal camera using I2C communication, setting the refresh rate to 2 Hz for capturing thermal images. The getThermalImage function captures raw temperature data from the MLX90640 sensor, storing it in a NumPy array formatted as a 24x32 grid which corresponds to the sensor's resolution. 
In process image, the temperature data array is normalized to a 0 to 255 scale for visual representation and then converted into a color mapped image using OpenCV's color mapping, which helps in distinguishing temperature differences visually. The image is then resized for better GUI display. Detect hotspots function processes the color mapped image to detect regions with temperatures exceeding a specific threshold, which is 36 degree, indicating potential fever. It uses thresholding and counter detection to highlight these areas. The main function continuously captures and processes thermal images, checking for temperatures that indicate fever and updating the GUI to display the current highest temperature and health condition. It also outlines detected hotspots on the image and shows the maximum temperature in those regions. Once all hardware setup and library installation is completed, we can start testing the system. The script will open a window displaying the thermal image processed by OpenCV. This image is color mapped to represent different temperatures visually. Below the thermal image, the GUI shows a status bar. It displays the highest temperature detected and a condition message. If the maximum temperature is below 36 degrees centigrade, it will display normal. If the maximum temperature is 36 degree or above, it will display fever detected. For each detected hotspot, the script calculates the maximum temperature within that region and displays it on the GUI. This helps in assessing whether the detected hotspot is indeed a concern for fever. Ensure your monitor the GUI while the script is running to see real-time updates and detections. This will allow you to access whether individuals scanned by the thermal camera potentially have a fever based on their surface temperature readings. Alright, that's all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in how to electronics website articles. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next